C I E D N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 4 titled Math Magic Book 4 Textbook in Mathematics for class 4 Chapter 5 titled The Way the World Looks from page number 52 to page number 59 Now let's listen to chapter 5 titled The Way the World Looks page number 52 chapter 5 The Way the World Looks Gappu's air journey Gappu was a brave little mouse one day he saw children playing with a huge gas balloon the balloon went up and touched the roof Gappu was thrilled. He got an idea. Next day, when the children went to school, Gappu climbed up the string of the balloon. He could see the blades of the fan from above. There is a diagram given here on page number 52. In this diagram, a fan has been drawn. A hot air balloon has gone up and touched the roof. Gappu The brave little mouse has used the string of the balloon to climb up and reach the balloon at the roof. From there, he observes the fan. A talking bubble has been given here along with the picture. Gappu says, "Oh, there is so much dirt on these blades. From below they look so clean." Draw how the fan looks from below. observe how the fan looks how is the fan when we observe it from the floor gappu looks down he could see the bed the chair one table with books on it and the other table with a bottle a jug fruits etc observe all these things in the photograph given here gappu is thinking or gappu says That stupid chinky is looking for cheese. Can't even see it is kept on the top of the jug. The story demands a high level of imagination, and children need adequate discussion about how things look differently in shape and size when you see them from different views and distances. However, the story should not lose its fun element. Page number fifty-three. Can you think why Gappu could see the cheese on the jug but Chinky could not? Just then a strong wind pushed the balloon out of the room. The balloon flew up and Gappu started going up in the sky. As he looked down, he could see his house. Gappu says, When I ran around in my house it looked so big but from here it looks small how is that as he went higher he could see things around his house the park the gurudwara the railway line a sweet shop and suhasini's house with the big water tank on its roof gappu while observing all these things from above says who is that on the railway track is it that fat cat monty <laughs> from here it looks like a big white mouse this must be gurudwara where amarjit goes every day i did not know there is a sweet shop here <laughs> yummy page number 54 Imagine how your classroom looks from above. Try to draw it and mark the benches, blackboard, doors, windows, etc. The balloon went up, up and up. Gappu kept wondering how big the world is. Now he could see lots of houses, streets, roads and buses. Here is the view Here is a diagram given on page number 54. Gappu is hanging from the string of the balloon. 
he can see the Gurdwara, the railway station and many other things from above. He says, Wow! Is that the train? Looking like a long box from here. These cars and buses look so small from here. Just like toys. And people look like ants. Suddenly, there was a loud sound. But The balloon burst and started falling down, down, and everything started looking bigger and bigger. Dup! Gappu fell on the railway track. He ran to save himself from the cruel Monty who ran after Gappu and the other rats on the railway track. When Gappu saw the railway track from above, it looked like this. A diagram of the railway track has been given here on page number 54. The railway track has been observed while looking at it from above. Page number 55 But when he fell on the track, the railway line looked like this. There is a diagram given here of the railway line while Gapu is on it. He says, Oh, things look so different when you look at them from the top and from the side. Monty the white cat is also there on the railway track. Monty the cat is staring at Gapu. Observe these pictures and discuss why things look wide and big at this end but narrow and small at the other end. There are two pictures given here on page number 55. The first picture is of a railway track and in the second picture there are many lit up candles given. Match two views of the same pose. This is a top view of a girl in a yoga pose. There is a picture given here along with this line. In the picture a girl is doing yoga. Only one of the photos given here is the correct match of the same yoga pose. Mark it. Now, there are four different pictures given here of the same girl doing a yoga pose. You have to observe these pictures and mark which one is the same as the first picture. All the pictures given here of the girl doing the yoga pose have been given using a different angle and a different view. Page number 56 These are two different views of the same bowls. There are two pictures given here marked 1 and 2. In each of the pictures, three bowls have been given. In the first picture, the bowls have been kept upwards. In the second picture, the bowls have been kept downwards. In which photo are the bowls upside down? Dash. Observe the side view in photo 3 to find the answer. The third photograph of the same three bowls has been given here on page number 56. It has been marked as 3. The picture of the bowls has been taken from the side view. Draw lines to match the side view with the top view of a pipe and a funnel. There are different diagrams given here of a pipe and a funnel from different views. The top view and the side view. Try to draw pictures of a shoe from the side, top and front etc. There is a blank space given here where you have to draw pictures of a shoe from the side, top front and other views. It would be exciting for children to imagine and find out how different things can look from different angles. It also helps to improve their spatial understanding. Page number 57 The park behind Gappu's house Do you remember the park behind Gappu's house? Here is a big picture of that park. Observe it carefully and answer the questions. 
There is a diagram given here of a big park behind Gappu's house. There are various places which are marked as A, B, C and D. The questions are Mark the gate nearest to the sweet shop. A, B, C or D. Which gate is nearest to Gappu's house? If you enter from gate B, the green bench will be to your left, right or front. When Suhasini entered the park, the flower bed was to her right. Which gate did she enter from? Which of these is nearest to you if you enter from gate C? 1. Basketball court 2. Flower bed 3. Green bench 4. Seesaw Young children tend to think of directions like left, front, etc. in absolute terms. It is important for the development of spatial understanding to make them aware that directions are relative to one's position. Something that is towards the left from one position can be towards the right from another position. More activities can be done in the class based on this concept. Page number 58 Ismail's Home On the phone, Ismail told Srijata the route to his house from her house. The route map is given here. This is what Ismail told Srijata. Uh, from your house, reach the milk booth and then take a left turn. From the second crossing, take a right turn and go over the bridge. Go straight and then take the first right turn. After about 100 meters, you will see a big park. When you cross the park, you will come to a side lane. My house is the first house in that lane. Observe the map given here and answer these questions. Did Ismail go wrong somewhere? Can you correct him? Tell where Srijata will reach if she takes the route he told her. Write the directions for going from Ismail's house to Srijata's house. Page number 59 Ghibli and the Big Box Do you remember Ghibli the ant in the Math Magic Book 3? Well, one day Ghibli saw a big box on her way. It looked like this. There are diagrams of three boxes given here on page number 59. Ghibli the ant is around them. Ghibli moved across and turned left. Now, she could see the other face of the big box. The boxes given here on page number 59 have different faces. On one of the faces of the box, it is written 4. On another face, it is written 5. On another face, it is written 1. Ghibli was confused. What was this box? She climbed on a cup and tried to see from there. The box looked like this. Can you guess what that box-like thing was? The numbers on the opposite faces of this box add up to 7. Which number was on the opposite side of 5? In the picture, which number will be at the bottom? Which number will Ghibli see? If she again turns left from 5. What will this box appear like if you opened it up? Mark the correct picture. There are four pictures given here with different numbers written on different sides of the box. There are four diagrams given here on page number 59. In all the four diagrams, all the sides of the boxes are given. It is given in an opened-up manner so that we can observe all the sides of the boxes together. You have to observe how the box will look like 
if you opened it up and mark the correct picture. Try it out. Draw a shape like this on a thick paper. Cut it out and color the different faces in different colors. Can you use this box to play a game? You were just listening to chapter number 5 titled The Way the World Looks. With it, chapter 5 of total 14 chapters ends here. Voiceover artists Shalini Singh and Vebhav Srivastav. Sound recordists Butelang Lingdo and Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in production by Shanu Muksim and Somya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. This book was presented to you by CIET, NCERT, New Delhi, India.